Well, it's a Microsoft initiative to discuss the uh, main advances in Brazil for the uh, Government 2.0 platform. And mm -hmm. it's um, we are seeing in Brazil a major advance in public management uh, overall. But still, in, in terms of uh, IT provision of services, I, I think we still have a, a long uh, terrain to, to go to. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a very good initiative to bring experiences that are being already tested in some uh, either cities or state administrations and also how they integrate with the uh, third sector, so-called initiatives that are more uh, modern, more advanced and are being developed faster also than the government initiatives. So it's a good way to uh, make it happen inside the governments. Uh, actually, we have several panels and some of the panels have uh, government representatives in it. So they, they can present what, what are they doing in their, either their departments or their states or the cities. And I think it's a good way to uh, see what are the what's the maturity that we have today in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And if you look into provision of services, what we have today is uh, full transparency and provision of information, uh, also some services. But we're still uh, beginning with the process of uh, getting the feedback from the community and creating a truly collaborative uh, platform, which, mm -hmm. which is still being uh, on the drawing stage in Brazil. Well. Uh, IT is, is a key element in, in bringing uh, information quickly to the public. So today the audience is more conscious in following on what's happening uh, overall, either in the government or the public sector as a whole, either companies, public companies. So the, the, the pressure is from the social uh, media for governments to become more transparent. And now we have in Brazil new laws that also force governments in all levels to uh, provide public information in a transparent and easy uh, readable way also so that, that uh, the citizens that are, that are not experts in public uh, budget for instance they can access the information and get a sense of what's happening inside government so I think it's a good uh, it's a good movement and it's still I think it, it goes first from um, a, a state of maturity in society then it goes to law and then the governments begin to use it as a, a tool to uh, be more engaged with their community. Well, first is culture, the second is access to information, because especially if you look into cities, Brazil is a, is a very large country with more than 5,600 5, uh, cities, and especially smaller cities, they don't have a, a good data uh, infrastructure, so not even um, uh, data on paper, much less to say with the uh, integration of uh, electronic databases. And one of the hurdles that we face today is that uh, the departments are still too uh, compartmentalized, you know, I don't know if that makes any sense, but mm -hmm. uh, the, the departments are not integrated in their uh, management culture. And as a result, you have uh, uh, different databases in different departments, and to make those databases talk to each other and then provide a service that is integrated to the citizen, I think it will be a major step. So just to conclude, how do we overcome these hurdles? I think it's uh, uh, by showing by example, and I think that the, the degree of development in society today is so is so uh, advanced that uh, the, the people are demanding that, and because of that, governments are being forced to move faster and and to also um, look to other governments that are doing the same and keep. Uh, copying the good examples because what is tested in one place with success can be implemented uh, throughout the country in all different levels. So I think that showing the good examples is the best way to do that and this uh, initiative is one good uh, way to do it.